<laughs> Hi guys, today I'm here with my beautiful little puppy Chloe, my five month old Shih Tzu, and we're going to be doing a Bark Box unboxing and review so that I can kind of tell you guys about Bark Box. I know it's nothing new, but Chloe was gifted a Bark Box for my birthday. <laughs> yes, that's how it works now in our family. And um, we've been loving it. She's had it for about three months now, and she absolutely loves every month around the 15th when she gets her new box. Isn't that right? She can smell it. We are going to go through our Bark Box. See, she can already smell the treats. And yeah, I'll give you a little overview. So BarkBox is a monthly subscription. This is nothing new. They have all these subscription-based services now, and this is one for dogs. I do know they have a couple other ones, but this is the one that my mother chose to get for my little boo-boo Chloe. So I know when you go online, you can choose between a three-month, a six-month, and a 12-month subscription, and we got the 12-month. I will say that I wish you could do like three months every other month or six months every other month because I do think for a small dog like Chloe, um, it's a lot every month, not as far as the toys go because she absolutely adores toys, but as far as the treats, we can never go through them. Like these are some treats from last time. She had a camp themed bark box and I actually ended up giving half of them away to Chloe's friends. She has a 90 pound lab friend and an 11 pound Maltese. So we share her treats with them since we can never get through them. So yeah, we get it every month and and it comes right to our house through UPS. You can also pick the size of your dog, either small, medium, or large, and they will tailor all the items in your box um, according to your preferences. What I also like about this service is that everything in the box is really durable. Like all the treats are really durable. I'll show you some of her previous toys in a moment. Um, and all the treats are like all natural and grain free, which is awesome because that's how I feed my baby. She's on all natural grain free kibble. So without further ado, we're going to get into this box. Her nose is going crazy. So let's get into your bark box. Are you excited? Are you excited? Get excited, boo boo. <laughs> She's like, open the damn box. Okay. So every box has a theme. So as you can see with this box, well, I don't know if you can see. This box has an Olympic theme. So I'm gonna keep it on my lap just for the purposes of, be careful, baby. She is like so excited. <laughs> so the first toy that she has is Plato, you know, Aristotle and Plato. So this is actually a really durable plush toy with a squeaker in it. It's gonna take her a while to find this squeaker, but what I really like about these toys is that she has never actually bitten through one of her bark box toys. Okay, here, you can have it, but don't drop it, baby. Because they're made of really, <laughs> look at her. <laughs> they're made of really durable um, fabric construction, so I really like that. The, um, sit down, baby, it's okay. The basic toys, not the basic, but the, <laughs> you know, usual toys that I get from PetSmart, she tears through those within a couple of days, but these are really well made, so I will say that I like that. Okay, the next thing, <laughs> when I saw this, I was super excited. Chloe has one of these little, it's Apollo's Wreath. So, Chloe is going to be an Instagram filter. I cannot wait. She's gonna look so cute, I can't wait. So this is basically just a toy wreath. Um, oh, it squeaks too, baby, you're gonna love that. So now Chloe has Play-Doh and Play-Doh's wreath. Whoops, see, gotta be careful. So how about you just play with Play-Doh right now, okay? So this is a really cool wreath, and like I said, everything in your box will be tailored to how big your dog is, or whether or not they're like a super chewer. You can choose all that when you're doing your subscription. So the next thing in the box, um, this is Brazilian style beef tip. So these are beef flavor, grain free. And what I also like about this subscription is it gives us a chance to try more treats than we would, you want one. She wants a treat. It gives us a chance to try treats that we wouldn't find at our normal store. So these are Brazilian style beef tips, all natural um, from a company in Oklahoma. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her one because it's her snack time and she really wants one. <laughs> this is what they look like. Ooh, they are potent. Here you go, boo-boo. You like it? She says, yes, mommy, I love treats. 
You'll get another one later, okay? We have more treats. <laughs> Chloe is obsessed with treats. So that's what I really like about the subscription. Baby, I'll give you one later, okay? Don't start crying. Um, my mom basically wanted to get this subscription for her so that I wouldn't have to buy toys or treats. And this has completely spoiled her rotten. So we're just loving this. So the next thing she got, <laughs> Can you guys hear her nose? These are the Terra All Natural Freeze Dry Dog Treats with one ingredient, which is lamb. Now, I love little baby lambs, but Chloe also likes to eat lamb, so I will give her these. So once again, these are all natural, grain-free, and these are made in South Pasadena, California. So once again, I wouldn't be able to find this at my local um, pet shop, PetSmart, any place like that. So I really like that they give you different types of treats from all around the country. So I'm gonna give Chloe one of these, if I can open it. Ooh, she's gonna be mad if I can't open it. I'm trying, babe. Okay, what if I do this? Be careful, I sit, Chloe. Chloe, sit. Oops, see your butt is not all the way down. Ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby, I can't. <laughs> Okay, baby, well, I'm gonna have to open that when I get some scissors, okay? The last thing in here is this um, Sawmill Creek Smokehouse Pig Ear Chew. She's silent crying, y'all. I'm gonna give her this. So, this is basically a pig ear made in the USA. Do you want this? Oh, shit, I can't open this either. Okay, I'm gonna have to get some scissors, but until then... So, the last thing in here is this... <laughs> World Champions Medal, so it says, um, pop out the medal, fold down the ribbon and place it over the dog's collar, take a photo and tag BarkBox, and upload it using the, using the hashtag World Champion. So Chloe is gonna be a World Champion later. So that's what I really like about this box is that everything is themed. So last month it was a Camp Bark box. Chloe got a bacon and egg skillet. She got a s'mores and then camp themed um, treats, which is why she has campfire cookies. She also got marshmallow treats. Um, I think the first box she got Baby, I, it's okay, but play with your toy. The first box she had was a New York thing. She got New York City beef jerky. She got a Lady Liberty ball. She got a bacon bone, and I think something else. So overall, I'd have to say that I'm really, really happy with each Bark box. Um, you can also go and buy more if you go to BarkShop.com, and I actually went and they have a wide array of different toys and treats and clothes and accessories, everything like that. They also have have political themed plush toys. I wanna get Chloe one of them. I won't say which one, but I wanna get her one so she can rip it up and destroy it. Do you wanna destroy a plush toy? Do you wanna destroy it after you do? <laughs> so yeah, um, stay tuned for later when I show you pictures of my baby, but overall, I'm gonna try to get this open. You stay right here, baby, okay? Are you sitting? Good girl. We sit for treats. You've never had anything freeze dried, baby. Here, I'll put it right there. Look, there's your freeze dried treat. So, yeah, um, unfortunately, I won't be able to reseal this. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed our Bark Box unboxing um, and my review. Overall, I really like the product, the subscription-based service. It is kind of on the expensive side, but if you know somebody who has a pet, who loves pets, I think this is a great gift for them. If you know someone who's getting a new pet, this is great. But um, I wish that I could choose like how often, I mean, you can choose whether you want three, six, or 12 months, but I almost would have done like a 12 month every other month for Chloe because sometimes the treats can be too much. But maybe you can plan it out that way. Like I said, I did not buy her bar box baby do you like this <laughs> so I'm not sure but as you can see Chloe loves this I will put some footage in at the end of her running around with her toys and with her gold medal attire so yeah I don't think she likes this freeze-dried lamb treat so <laughs> it's okay it's okay baby I hope you guys liked our video our little unboxing 
Can I sit up like a good girl? <laughs> Say thanks for watching everyone. Um, I will also leave a coupon code or a link down below <laughs> of where um, I think you can sign up and get maybe a free box or something, but I'll leave all the information down below as well as where you can buy this stuff and the bark shop where you can buy additional treats and toys and everything. So she wants to go play, so I'm gonna let her get down and I will see you guys in the next video, bye. Watch out, Chloe. She won't wear her wreath, but yeah, this is Chloe with all her new bark box treats. Say I love it, thumbs up for BarkBox. Chloe doesn't like the freeze dried lamb, <laughs> but she likes her reef and Play-Doh. <laughs> Chloe loves toys as you can see. Thankfully she doesn't like shoes.